11 Stories of Deception in the Bible, Deceit, Old Testament, Deceived, Biblical. In the Bible, there are many stories of deception. One of the most famous stories is that of Adam and Eve. They were deceived by the serpent into eating fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This caused them to be banned from the Garden of Eden. There are also stories of deception in the book of Genesis, Word of God, such as when Jacob deceives his father into giving him Esau's birthright. These stories teach us about the dangers of deception and how it can lead to disaster. Satan Abram Jacob Rachel and Leah Potiphar's wife Midianite Samson David Jobs friends Ananias and Sapphira Antichrist stories of deception in the Bible The Bible is full of stories of deception. Many of these stories teach us about the dangers of deception, and how it can lead to sin and destruction. In this blog post, we will take a look at 11 different stories from the Bible where deception played a role. 1. The Serpent Deceives Eve One of the most well-known stories in the Bible is that of Adam and Eve. In this story, the serpent deceives Eve into eating fruit from the tree of knowledge, which leads to the fall of man. In the story of the serpent deceives Eve, we see a clear example of the tempter's devices. Eve is presented with a beautiful fruit, which she is told will make her wise. The serpent then uses flattery, telling Eve that she will be like God if she eats the fruit. Of course, we know that the serpent is lying. Bible describes lying as a false witness, and that eating the fruit will not make Eve like God. However, Eve falls for the deception, and eats the fruit. As a result, she and Adam are both expelled from the Garden of Eden. This story teaches us that we must be on our guard against Satan's lies. We must be careful what we believe, and be sure to test everything against God's word. Otherwise, we may find ourselves believing things that are not true, and suffering the consequences. 2. Abram deceives Pharaoh, in Genesis 12. Abram goes down to Egypt to escape a famine in the land. When he gets there, he fears that Pharaoh will kill him and take his wife Sarai, so he tells Sarai to say that she is his sister. As a result, Pharaoh takes Sarai into his harem, but God warns him not to touch her and he gives her back to Abram. The story of Abram deceiving Pharaoh is found in Genesis 12. Abram and his wife Sarai were living in Canaan at the time, but they decided to go to Egypt because there was a famine in the land. When they arrived, Abram told Sarai to say that she was his sister so that Pharaoh would not kill him in order to take her as his wife. This deception worked, and Pharaoh gave Sarai to Abram as a wife. However, God struck Pharaoh and his household with plagues because of Sarai, and so Pharaoh asked them to leave. This story teaches us that even though Abram had good intentions, he still disobeyed God by lying. A lying tongue is always wrong, even if it seems like it will help us in the short term. We should always obey God no matter what the consequences may be. 3. Jacob deceives Isaac, in Genesis 27. Jacob deceives his father Isaac into thinking that he is Esau in order to receive his blessing. Jacob was the son of Isaac and Rebekah. He was the twin brother of Esau. When they were born, Jacob emerged first from the womb, and so he was given the name Jacob, which means supplanter. As the boys grew older, it became clear that they were very different in nature. Esau was a very hairy man and a skillful hunter. Jacob, on the other hand, was a smooth man and preferred to stay at home. One day, when Jacob was cooking a good-smelling stew, Esau came in from the field and asked Jacob for some of the food. Jacob agreed to give it to him, but only if Esau would give him his birthright, the right to inherit their father's property. Esau agreed, and so Jacob became the heir. Later on, when Isaac was old and blind, he called for Esau and told him to go out into the field and kill an animal so that he could have a feast before he died. Rebekah overheard this conversation, and she secretly devised a plan to make sure that Jacob would get the blessing instead of Esau. Rebekah following her own desires. She had Jacob dress up in one of Esau's skins, so that he would feel hairy like his brother. Then she sent him into his father's presence with some food. When Isaac smelled it, he thought it was Esau and blessed him. In this way, Jacob tricked his father into giving him the blessing intended for Esau. The legal rights were subverted to Jacob. 4. Rachel and Leah deceived their father. In Genesis 29, in these Bible verses, Rachel and Leah deceived their father Laban by giving him Leah instead of Rachel on his wedding night. Genesis 29 tells the story of how Rachel and Leah, two of Jacob's wives, deceived their father in order to ensure that their own children would inherit his blessing. It was a ruse that had far-reaching consequences, not only for Jacob and his family, but also for the entire nation of Israel. The story begins with Jacob's arrival in Haran, where he meets and falls in love with Rachel. He works for her father, Laban, for seven years in order to earn the right to marry her. However, on the night of his wedding, Laban tricks Jacob by substituting Leah for Rachel. Although Jacob is tricked, he still agrees to work another seven years so that he can marry Rachel as well. The deception doesn't end there. When Rachel is unable to have children, she convinces Leah to give her one of her sons in exchange for one of Leah's daughters. As a result, Rachel's firstborn son, Joseph, inherits Jacob's blessing. 
The story of how Rachel and Leah deceive their father is a cautionary tale about the dangers of deception. While it may seem like a harmless way to get what you want, the consequences can be far-reaching and damaging. On the wedding night, Jacob drinks too much, and Leah is brought to him to lie with instead of Rachel. The wine had him under a strong delusion. He was fooled. 5. Potiphar's wife falsely accuses Joseph H. In Genesis 39, Potiphar's wife tries to seduce Joseph, but he refuses her advances. She then falsely accuses him of attempted rape, and he is sent to prison as a result. In the Old Testament, Satan is called the father of lies, deceiving religious people of the ancient world and in the New Testament false prophets, false teachers, false apostles, even disguised as an angel of light. Potiphar's wife took a fancy to Joseph and repeatedly invited him to lie with her, which he refused to do, telling her that it would be great wickedness against God. She continued to press him day after day until Joseph was so fed up that he finally ran out of the house, leaving his garment in her hands. When Potiphar came home that evening and found his wife angry and his garment torn, she falsely accused Joseph of trying to rape her. As a result, Potiphar had Joseph thrown into prison, where he remained for many years. Even though Potiphar's wife had lied about him, Joseph still chose to honor God above all else. His faithfulness was rewarded when he was eventually released from prison and rose to a position of power in Egypt. Greg Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Welcome to our family, View All Posts.